Ooh, my stash o decks. This, my dear friends, is a collection of beautiful things. Beautiful things I've been meaning to make videos on, and I haven't. So I am going to start tonight. <laughs> So my first installment in uh, my Stash O Decks <laughs> series, uh, where I'm looking at decks that I've kind of accumulated over the past six months or so and haven't haven't cracked open, haven't have been waiting, and they've been like sort of simmering uh, on the back of the stove. And uh, I'm going to go through these decks one or two at a time, and starting with uh, a deck that I'm really excited to start playing with, which is this one on the right. Um, this is the Vista Tarot. By Morgan Glover, uh, my uh, good friend Andy Couturier, a fabulous writer, uh, in writing teacher, writing coach, activist, artist. Um, he gifted me this deck, and I'm super excited to have it. Uh, it is very similar to the Nature Scapes Tarot, which I've had for about a year. Uh, Laurel at Aqua Marine 18 uh, posted a video about this deck in the middle of COVID, and it was really inspiring. Um, her love for the deck, what she got from the deck, particularly at the time when she got it, which was, you know, in the the heat of uh, isolation and quarantine, uh, made me covet the deck and purchase it. Both decks are available. I think they're both still available on uh, Make Playing Cards. And there, this one is, I believe, in this feels like superior smooth cardstock that's the the backs of these decks of this deck um and you know that's a lovely or it might be standard smooth it's a lovely cardstock with a slight sheen now this light makes it look like the the kind of imperfections that happen from shuffling it makes it look like those are visible but in in natural light and in, in real life they're not this deck is in one of my favorite card stocks, the, the Make Playing Cards linen card stock. It's, I adore this card stock. Um, I also really love the backs. Very simple. Okay. What's interesting about both these decks, particularly because the fool is the same image, and both artists, uh, both Tina, who of the Nature Scapes Tarot, and Morgan Glover of the Vista Tarot, both of them relied on copyright free images available online. I know that uh, Morgan was using pexels.com, which is one of those sites that you can uh, upload or download photographs and images for free. Clearly, the same, many of the same images were available for Tina making the Vista, but I don't know what site she used. You can go, I think, where did I access this? Um, you can get a sense of where some of these images are. Is it, there might be a website, is it list? I can't remember. I'll, I'll figure it out when I post this video and try to put that information in the description below. Okay, so what I mean, you know, these are obviously really similar decks, um, but they're not identical. And I'm interested in the different choices that are being made. And then I really am interested to uh, see what it's like to play with the Vista. So, you know, obviously the, the, um, font even though this is the same image the font is different the saturation quality is slightly different um this is a little bit more saturated i really love the very small and simple font in the vista uh, in the nature scapes but they're both they're both fine okay now really different right so um i love the choice of this card in the vista for this kind of alignment that I associate with the magician but you know Aurora Borealis is pretty awesome too the high priestess the vista doesn't shy away from uh, human artifacts and objects as you'll see or animals so it's not as simply landscaped as the nature scapes that's one of the the distinctions between the two but yeah this kind of beautifully echoes a, a human form, doesn't it? With a kind of dress and arms and the head, but also that sense of receding off into the moonlit distance, but they're both beautiful. 
I like the intimacy of the vistas, the sort of uh, foregrounded flowers in the sense that we're right in this. This feels a little bit remote, but you know, the Empress is kind of imperial, right? She's the Empress after all. Now here we have a sad typo. Why do people misspell emperor? I, I just don't know, but it's common, alas. So that makes me sad, but that is what it is. Very similar images, different image, but similar. The emperor is my card this year, the hub of my wheel of, of life for the year. Um, this, this emperor with its kind of, this reminds me of the triangle that's often used to denote like sitting in meditation posture, the sort of, you know, the head and the base. And so this reminds me of sitting Zazen, sitting Zen meditation a little bit more. So the power comes from something more grounded, literally grounded in what meditation is. They're both cool. Really similar impulse here. I like this hierophant. Uh, focusing on the roots, but they're both similar. Now, the lovers. Okay, so here we see what happens when you're not uh, reducing or like limiting yourself to just landscapes. So the mating of these two butterflies and the more abstract kind of sense of the rose of lavender. It's, it's really gorgeous though, the chariot. Okay rushing streams. I think I'm, I think I prefer the nature scapes here, but again, kind of a similar impulse. Strength. Yeah. So here we have kind of a, I don't know if, I mean, sort of this is in Peru or some, you know, some place with ruins in the mountains. That's kind of a deep image, a powerful image, but I love the, uh, sense of resilience and the heat of this desert imagery. <clears throat> okay. So this is the hermit from the um, vista is a little bit more literal, right? But it's beautiful. This image bothers me because it, it's manipulated. It's manipulated. Um, so in that sense, um, you know, this isn't an image from nature. So this is something where the exposure of the image manipulated it to turn, give us a wheel. Um, I really, I much prefer the nature scapes image. Justice. Hmm. Both of these are interesting and not obvious. You know, how is the lightning and the village and I'm not sure what, I'm not sure how to read this one. This one seems to be much more like, uh, you know, the natural cascade of water. This sort of has a sense of, of karma. The hanged one. So both of these play with perspective. Death, a cemetery in the vista. This has, uh, from the nature scape, much more of a sense of the rebirth. Temperance. Oh, I love the vista here with the glowing sun setting in the middle of the tree. The naturescape has more of a blending image. Ooh, the devil. Okay, that's interesting. So humans are the devil in the Vista Tarot. Human, uh, human combustion, the, the steam, the smokestacks on the boat. Or is that a city? I can't tell if that's water. Oh, is that a city? And that's not, I was see, seeing this as a boat in the distance on water, but I think this is uh, smokestacks in a distant city and then the, the desolate landscape up to it. Okay, that's powerful. This devil, yeah, is less, is less interesting. The tower, 
both images of lightning. The I like the purple, it's just pretty, but there's something about this tower hitting, more obviously hitting a city that is lit up. Star, oops. Star, <laughs> there we go, that makes more sense. Oh, I love the, the vista. The moon. They're both lovely. I like having the water in the vista. And the sun. Again, like the empress, I like the foreground here, the flowers in the front, that bringing forward the, the small scale. Judgment. This is the same image. I like the higher contrast and the uh, cl this sort of uh, close-up, the zoomed in of the vista. And this is also the same image. Yeah. Okay, Ace of Earth. Mushroom versus Sprout. And also the decision in the vista to call this Earth as opposed to pentacles, which I like. So the use of the natural elements uh, in the vista makes sense. Two of pentacles. I'm going to move somewhat more quickly through all of these and only comment on the ones that are uh, really striking. Um, so, you know, if you think about the teamwork in the three of pentacles or the sense of community and coming together, um, the path into the forest versus looking up through the tree. I really, really like the Vista image here. Same freaking image. So this is interesting because Naturescapes was definitely produced before. So I think, you know, we artists, we artists, I'm not an artist, but I think artists are always influenced by those who come to before. But yeah, this is, and there's probably a limited number of images out there, especially if they're both using the same um, what do you call it? The same source of images. Okay, I really like the choice here in the Vista for the Five of Earth. And, well, this one's really interesting, this Six of Pentacles. But I gotta say, I do like the butterflies here and the way it calls forth the Six of the Lovers. You know, six of earth here, the give and take of the six of pentacles, and its sixness calls forth the lovers as well. Okay, so this, the seven of earth in the vista, more literally brings to mind the harvest. I really like it. Hmm, another of the same images. Eight of pentacles. You know, cultivation, the care, this, this, the sculpting of the natural environment. Nine of Earth. Okay. So, you know, in the Waitsmith image, um, the evocation here calling forth the, the way that um, grapevines and grapes are big in the Pamela Coleman Smith's pentacles. And then, you know, there's, um, there's the luscious vines of, uh, of grapes in the nine of pentacles and we've got that here i do love this boat and this kind of invitation to be like this is your own little private oasis this uh fastness um in this nine of pentacles it, it, in some ways the nature scape is more evocative for me okay the ten of pentacles that sense of legacy i think I mean, this is a beautiful image, but I think perhaps the sort of sense of the homestead and the farm in the Vista is more on point. The choice being made in the Vista is to give the, just like we've got Earth instead of Pentacles, we also have different uh, names for the suits, uh, for the court, so pages are children. Wands are wands. Uh, knights are explorers. Yeah, I'm not. Neither of these necessarily shouts Knight of Pentacles. Queens are guardians. 
I really like the, the colorfulness of the Vista. And then kings or elders. That sense of the harvest, everything coming into fruition. I like the, the burst of light at the center of the starburst there. Okay, now we're in the cups, which I don't want to be. I want to be in the wands. Okay, so now we're in fire or wands, depending on your perspective. So the idea of a crossroads here in the Vista. So the this is one of the moments, mostly I feel like the Vista is a little bit more um, uh, obvious in its imagery. Well, is that true? A little bit. Um, but this one, the Three of Wands in the Naturescapes with having these ships in harbor really does call forth the, the Coleman Smith imagery. Um, I like the Three of Fire better. I think it's more on point with the meaning rather than just echoing the imagery. Yeah, I like both of these. Ooh, okay, this, is this the same image? Similar image. The Five of Wands being a literal fire. It might be, yeah, I think this is the same image but just cropped a little bit. I kind of like it being off-center in the nature scapes. Well, I like them both, actually. Six of fire. Oh, fireworks. That's pretty, that's clever. But um, the sense of uh, solemn procession and success and that kind of triumph is really carried forth in the nature scapes as well. Okay, seven of wands. So same image. Eight of fire. I like this idea. <laughs> yes, the comet, or not comet, shooting star, whatever. Um, yeah, I think this, the nature scape is a little bit, a little bit oblique, I'm not, not quite clear enough. Nine of fire. I'm not, I think that the nature scape speaks more. Hmm. This is more literal, right? The Like the bundle of wood that the figure is carrying in the Coleman Smith. Ah, child of fire. I like that. I like having a literal, literal fire. <laughs> that is helpful. So we've got like fire. Fire is here. But it's confusing too. Is this vista? Is it elemental? I like this knight of wands in the nature scape. Queen of Wands, Guardian of Wands, Elder of Fire. Yeah, there's something about having these great big uh, redwoods. That seems right to me. Ace of Cups. Okay, the Lotus versus this versus just water. Huh, this is, yeah, this is beautiful, this Two of Water. I love it, actually. There's an intimacy in these, um, in the Vista images that's really, a warmth that I think is really powerful. Yeah, this Four of Water. So how is this the Four of Cups? This doesn't feel Four of Cups to me. This does. Although they're both a little bit, you know, that sense of dissatisfaction of holding yourself away. Maybe it's the cove, the sort of, yeah, maybe the hidden cove. It's interesting. Actually, this I'm interested in the vista here. The five of water, five of cups. Um, you know, this is so smart. The vista, the nature scape with this rainbow, it feels desolate, but there's a rainbow. Um, this vista calls forth more the turmoil that we associate with fives. Six of water. Yeah, I, I love the little, the nostalgia of the nature scape. Seven. Hmm. Eight. Very similar images. 
I think I like the nature scapes better, but it's they're close. Nine of water. Yeah. The waterfall maybe speaks to me a little bit more for this card. And the ten. I think the nature scape sort of nailed it. But I, it's hard to say exactly why. <laughs> why I feel that, I'm not sure. Child of water. Lovely. Both of these are lovely. Knight of Cups. Mm. The dreaminess. I kind of get it in both of them, but it neither speaks to me exactly. And here's the queen. I don't... The waterfall seems less less to the point than this kind of underwater scene. And the elder. Yeah, I love the mountain. The mountain... Um, the mountain lake. I like this this image, the vista better. Okay, now we're on to the swords. Very similar, ace of air, two of air, two of swords. They both are depicting a kind of stasis, but the two-ness in the nature scape is a little bit more literal. Okay, three of swords. I think... The nature scapes kind of nails it. Four of swords. This serve the tree house is an interesting choice. A sense of suspension. The coldness in the nature scape seems more, more the mood that we need. The five of air. I really like the vista here. And the Six of Air. Hmm. Well, the Six of Swords in the nature scape is, is more literal to the Pamela Coleman Smith imagery. I'm not a huge fan of either, actually. Okay, Seven. Interesting. The Eight. Mm, they're both interesting. Neither quite gets at the sense of hindrance and freedom or possible freedom. Well, they're both interesting. Okay, the Nine of Swords, nightmare card, right? I don't see it in the Vista at all. Ten. Ooh, interesting. Ten of Swords. I, I like the Vista. The Sunset. And now I really like the choice made in the courts for the Vista because I like having the birds here. But it's a slightly problematic choice because there aren't similar figures in any of the other courts. I kind of wish that uh, uh, Morgan had, if she was going to personify the courts uh, in the swords by giving us birds, like she had done that with each of the other courts. Okay, two decks, um, some shared cards in, the, in both of them. Um, I didn't tally up my favorites. Um, maybe I should do that. But I, I sort of have a feeling that I liked more of the Nature Scapes cards than the Vista, but there were some Vista cards that I adored, and I definitely prefer the cardstock in the Vista. Um, it ends up a smaller pack when you go linen as opposed to the superior smooth, and it just feels so great. Let's try a reading with the Vista. I'm actually wanting to read with both of them, but I'm gonna shuffle, so I'll take a minute to shuffle. It's, it shuffles so nicely. So I decided I really have to read with both of these. I've been shuffling them both. So I'm gonna start with the nature scape, and I just wanna ask, you know, what do you what do you have to say to me? What do you have to teach me? Ace of Wands. So um, you're gonna help me understand something. I've been trying to understand fire and the sun. Are you gonna help me understand this vitality? Uh, this vitality at the core of my life. I've been trying to kind of dive into it. Is that what you're gonna help me grasp? Seven of Wands. Okay, more fire. 
This seven of wands is a little bit confusing to me. There's a loneliness here. I've been actually thinking about the loneliness of what it is to be a leader because, you know, I tend to put myself in uh, leadership roles, in teaching roles. And uh, so are you teaching me, showing me something about that side of myself with love and compassion? You trying to give nourish me with your water? Is this you? Is this you, uh, nature scapes? <sighs> I don't understand this deck as the two of pentacles. Uh, this card as the two of pentacles. Um, this feels like a water card to me, but are you trying to show me the flow of balance? Is that your your role in my life? Is this you? Is are you first of all like the the hearts heartsiness, the heartfulness of the Queen of Cups, and then you're trying to show me balance. You're trying to help me balance. Are you trying to help me balance out my energy? Oh, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay, that was my my card of the year last year. So this idea of patience, um, of allowing things to come to fruition. I hear that. Are you saying you want me to slow down? Ace of Cups. You want me to tap into the source. Yeah. And to take my point of embarkation, my adventure from there. What's the, what's the single most important quality or, or thing that you want me to understand? The Knight of Swords. So you want me to release my kind of airy, uh, my airy fierceness, my knight of swords energy. And you're saying nine of wands. Okay. Stand firm. Is that what you want? I feel like I'm not necessarily hearing, hearing this message. So I'm going to try one more time. Yeah, I, I'm I'm making this hard on myself, aren't I? I'm making it hard on myself. You're showing me, I think you're showing me how to explore. And then I get carried away and sort of fight too hard. Are you wanting to let me just flow? Yes, <laughs> Knight of Cups. Okay, you're wanting me to just flow and dream. And that's what you want to, you want to give me that spaciousness to flow and dream. Is that, do I have it right now? Knight of Wands. And to be fiery and fierce. You're wanting me to be inspired. Um, but you're wanting me to have space. Yeah? Is space the name of the game? Being able to, to just, to just flow outward, but be rooted and grounded. Okay. Any last words here? <laughs> okay, just just allow myself to um, settle in. Okay. Mm. Ah, what a beautiful deck. What a soulful deck. All right. Um, so, you know, this Vista deck, I mean, it's also about space. And spaciousness, but it's a different deck. Um, it's yeah, Vista Tarot. It's a different deck. It's it's first of all, it's it's interested in the elements in a way that the other one isn't, and it's also it's um, closer in. It's it's more human scale. It's not quite as as big and spacey. So Vista Tarot, what do you want me to know? Okay, so you want me to be able to be at the crossroads? Are you gonna, are you gonna help me uh, plot my course? Are you gonna help me enter on the journey? Okay, so this is also this is Queen of Pentacles. This is Guardian of Earth. 
So you're kind of wanting to nourish me and get me grounded. But the colors in this, are you also trying to inspire me? And, and if so, how? Three of fire. So another three of wands. You, you want me to be able to explore. You want me to be able to, to burst through uh, into uh, new endeavors to be able to get on the path. Is that right? Yeah. And to have a kind of... Um, to that strength, the fire here is also about strength and perseverance and being able to, to gently but powerfully bend with the circumstances. Um, are you going to help give me that strength? Guardian of water. Okay, so we have another queen of cups. I think it's interesting when, you know, you do a kind of reading like this, a deck dialogue, and you get some of the same cards. But I love this Queen of Cups. I, I like this Queen of Cups a lot better than the, the other one, um, than the one. Uh, this was the Queen of Cups in the nature scape. So this Queen of Cups is like helping me get into the depths. Okay, so you're going to help me flow into those depths. And then what? Then what's that about? Okay, so that's about a kind of joy and communion and being with. This three of cups, this three of water with the sun setting or rising from the water. I'm on the West Coast, so I think of this as the sun setting. But, you know, that sense of light in the water. So you're going to help me flow and find my light in the water. Help me find community. Is this about a community? This is about alignment. Okay. This is about power. <laughs> like this little phallic. <laughs> this phallic dealy, bit, dealy wig here. <laughs> Oops. Okay. And I just had a jumper. The elder of earth. So the king of pentacles with the harvest so yeah so there's a kind of masculine energy here and uh an alignment and the power um what do i do with that power ah oh, let it hang right so um this is reminds me a little bit of the seven of pentacles coming up in the last reading um you know remember that one so a kind of pause and a willingness to be suspended um am i moving too fast is that your sense huh maybe not moving too fast but maybe being too guarded maybe not being willing to go through to move toward the light i'm, I'm understanding this four of cups better now like it, it's you know that kind of retreating from the light so do i need to go Go toward that light. Am I avoiding something? Nine of air. Yeah. This nine of air, you know, neither nine of air or the nine of swords in the um, nature scapes really spoke to this card for me, which is a card that's about anxiety and nightmare and, and turning our own minds against ourselves. But there is a kind of desolation here and being in this mm, smoky, fire-tinged, this reminds me of, you know, what it's like. I don't know if this is literally an image of a um, wildfire burned landscape, but that's that color of the sky is what it looks like now in on the West Coast in the summer during fire season. Our, our fifth season, there's uh, fall, winter, spring, summer, and fire. <laughs> so that sense of having burned things through, scorched. Not as a fire card, but as the card of air and mind. So um, do I need to turn it down my own like analytical, self-critical side? Oh, I don't need to turn it down. You're saying I need to find the spark. Okay. Are you gonna give me the spark? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna partner with me on this, aren't you? Three of Earth, three of Pentacles. Um, how can I best work with you? Ten of air. Let go of myself. Let go of myself. Wow. I feel like I'm done with this reading, but 
is their last word here. Ha! Huh. Yeah, okay, you're going to be my Knight of Pentacles. You're going to be my steadfast companion. We're going to walk the we're going to walk the pathways. Every time I get the Knight of Pentacles, I really not every time, but very often I feel like it's pointing to the steadfast companionship that maybe the tarot itself can provide. Um, am I missing anything? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. I love it. So both decks are kind of going in similar places. So uh, let's just lay out the cards. Say, can you see them? I'm not even looking at what's in the camera. So uh, I'm just going to, oh, heck. I'm just going to lay them out like that. Oh, uh, yeah. The Vista and the um, Naturescapes Tarot, both ending with the Hermit. Both ending with the Hermit. Yeah. Which of the decks do you prefer? Which do you think gave me a, a, a more compelling reading? Comment below. <laughs> like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell. Whatever. No. Forget about all that stuff. Um, you guys, you know, I still have not monetized my YouTube channel. So it's really, I realize every time that I see the ads that come up with my videos, I think, why is YouTube making money on this? So I should get on it. I should, I should not just let YouTube make money on this stuff. Make money on your eyeballs. But at any rate, um, yeah, let me know what you think about these decks. And, you know, everyone, thank you so much for your practice. Thank you for watching all of this, <laughs> all of this nonsense. Thank you for not minding my horrible, like, ugh, ugh, my, my, I don't bite my nails, people. I have, um, I have trouble with my cuticles. So thank you for watching all this. And thank you for putting up with my troubled cuticles. Much love to you guys. Take good care.